This video will show you how to install the timing chain and sprockets on Pennastar engines. Be sure to inspect all the sprockets and timing chain guides for damage or excessive wear. Replace them if you find any damage. Next, install the left side cam chain guide and torque the T30 bolts to the appropriate torque specification. If removed, install the left side cam chain guide and tensioner to the engine block with two bolts and tighten the T30 bolts to the appropriate torque specification. Repeat this procedure for the right side cam chain guide, tensioner arm, and tensioner. Verify that the number one piston is at top dead center by aligning the dimple on the crankshaft with the block bearing cap junction. Remember this caution. Be sure that the crankshaft key is in the crankshaft. Now put the camshafts at top dead center by positioning the alignment holes vertically on all the cams. Caution. Remember to reinstall timing chains in the same direction that they were on originally so they fit the same wear pattern. If you flip the chain over, the chain and sprockets will experience excessive wear. Now, install the primary chain onto the crankshaft sprocket so that the arrow is aligned with the plated link on the timing chain. Keep the chain and sprocket together and align while inverting them. And then place the idler sprocket into the timing chain so that the dimple is aligned with the chain plated link. Maintain alignment between the sprockets and chain while you lubricate the idler sprocket bushing with clean engine oil and install the sprockets and timing chain. Next, verify that the timing is still correct. The timing chain plated link should be located at the 12 o'clock position while the dimple on the crankshaft is aligned with the block bearing cap junction. Put in the idler sprocket retaining bolt and washer and then tighten to the appropriate torque specification. Install the primary chain guide and tighten to the appropriate torque specification. Now, reset the primary chain tensioner and hold in place with special tool 8514. Install the primary chain tensioner, torque the bolts to the appropriate torque specification, and remove the tensioner pin. If it was removed, press the left side intake cam phaser onto the intake camshaft, and then install and hand tighten the oil control valve. Drape the left side cam chain over the left side intake cam phaser and onto the idler sprocket so that the arrow is aligned with the plated link on the cam chain. When maintaining this alignment, route the cam chain around the exhaust cam phasers so that the plated links are aligned with the phaser timing marks. Position the left side cam phasers so that the arrows point towards each other and are parallel to the cylinder head mounting surface. Note that you may need to rotate the camshaft a few degrees to install the camshaft phaser. Now, install and hand tighten the oil control valve. Install the left side camshaft phaser lock special tool 10202-2 with the tool number facing up. Torque the oil control valves to the appropriate torque specification, then remove the left side camshaft phaser lock. The right side cam chain installation is very similar to the left side. Now that the cam chains are installed, install the oil pump drive chain. Note that there are no timing marks on the oil pump chain or gear, but it's still important to reinstall the chain in the same direction that it was on originally, or it will experience excessive wear. Put the oil pump sprocket into the oil pump chain and then place the oil pump chain onto the crankshaft sprocket while aligning the oil pump sprocket with the oil pump shaft. Slide the sprocket onto the shaft, install the retaining bolt and tighten to the appropriate torque specification. Install the oil pump chain tensioner. Be sure that the spring is above the dowel pin. Remove the tensioner pins from the cam chain tensioners. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise two complete revolutions. Stop when the dimple on the crankshaft is aligned with the block bearing cap junction. Next, verify that the arrows on the left side cam phasers point towards each other and are parallel to the cylinder head cover mounting surface. Verify that the right side cam phaser arrows point away from each other and that the scribe lines are parallel to the cylinder head cover mounting surface. Check to be sure there are 12 chain pins between the exhaust cam phaser triangle marking and the intake cam phaser circle marking as viewed from either the front or rear of the cam phasers. Note that the colored link plates will not be positioned as installed. If any of these cam timing marks are not in the correct position, the engine timing is not right and you'll have to repeat the entire cam timing procedure. If all of these cam timing marks are in the proper position, finish reassembling the engine and perform the cam crank variation relearn procedure with the scan tool.